Welcome to the 10th and last lecture of Introduction to Modern Brain Computer Interface Design. In this lecture, we'll discuss, um, it's basically the last lecture in this, um, in this series, and it'll be a little bit more relaxed and laid back. <laughs> we'll discuss some neuroscience aspects to the brain computer interfacing problem, um, how to bring the neuroscience angle more into the foreground while we've been discussing engineering approaches for the last uh, five or so lectures. And we'll, I, I also give you a little bit of an outlook into um, where the field is moving, what we are doing here at the Sport Center, and um, generally where things are going. So there's six modules. Some of them are a little bit short. And the first one is just some prerequisites on the idea of, uh, of this neuroscience viewpoint um, in, the, in the BCI problem. The next module is talking about uh, feature, uh, feature extraction of source resolved signals. Source resolved means they have a location associated, a source location, and we'll, I'll give you some details on that. And then we'll discuss how to take these kinds of features and representations and to as assign a prior knowledge and, and weave that prior knowledge into your method, say as extra assumptions and so on, and use specifically prior knowledge that is based on brain location which is um, one of the nice tricks that, that you can do when you are having you know, source resolved data. And we'll go through one example of one such method, which we've recently worked out uh, for attention shifting, uh, just as, as, uh, as a good concrete use case. And we'll then end with an outlook on some of things where we are going and other people, and we'll end with uh, you know, some literature. So there is going to be a rather extensive summary of literature that's relevant, it's worthwhile to read, uh, researchers and so on, that I highly encourage you to uh, grind through when you get to that point.